Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. In today's video, we journey to the heart of Petrosin caviar, the caviar grading room, where every tin of caviar to pass through Petrosin in the United States is personally tested and graded before being packed. So, so Alex, where are we? Uh, we are in the caviar room. The caviar room is a little bit uh, the, the heart of the company. It's where we receive all the caviar, um, where we grade and select uh, the caviar for our customers. Um, when you place an order with us, uh, we will come downstairs and select your caviar to ship to you. Every uh, tin that goes through our website or boutique has been hand selected, um, hand packed and shipped to you to make sure that what you get is absolutely perfect. And, and you were saying there's only two people in the entire company that are qualified to select caviar. Actually, uh, there's uh, two uh, here in US, so Luis and myself. Um, and in Paris, there's uh, two more, uh, Nicolas and my dad. Um, and uh, Nicolas is, a little bit of a, uh, is our caviar buyer. Um, he goes all around the, 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 the world to find the best caviar possible. Um, and uh, yeah, in the US, Luis and I does, uh, does the grading every day. Every day. Yeah, it's, so everything uh, is being personally graded. Personally graded, yeah. exactly. Um, everything, I mean, any caviar we sell that you try, we have tried before you to make sure that it was pristine and, and, and delicious. That's great. So um, we've got... A it's part of the guarantee of, uh, of, of, of the caviar, you know, because caviar can, uh, can be temperamental sometimes. So we want to make sure that what you get is, is the, the, the perfect caviar. Yeah. So we've got a pretty wide selection here. We do. So this, you know, what type of grading are we going to do today or selection? So um, we're doing a grading for one of my best clients, uh, Arthur. Um, he's uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, he orders uh, every week a fairly big quantity of caviar. Um, he's been working, uh, ordering caviar from me for the past 10 years. So I know really what he's looking for into a caviar. Uh, we're going to sell caviar for, uh, for him and we're going to sell caviar also for you. Um, I know you have a party in a couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, we're going to select a caviar for you also, make it a little, uh, a little fun. Um, and, uh, and yeah. So we've brought the caviars in a little bit closer. Uh, so that we can see everything that we have. So tell us a little bit about what we have here. So we have, um, uh, we have a, a different type of caviar, different grades and different species. Okay. So the two first here um, is the uh, Ocetra Special Reserve. Uh, here you have the Sound Pale Ocetra. Here you have the Royal Ocetra. Here you have the Baika, the um, uh, Powerfish. And here you have the Dorinki. Okay, so each of these are two tins, but of the same exact correct. You know, species. Correct. Right. Same as the species and same uh, type of maturity. Okay, so are uh, we so going to be able to taste the difference between correct, even? Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay, so we're going to see that even between, you know, what is essentially the same. There is difference, and that's difference. really the beauty of caviar. Um, uh, caviar is a, is, a, is, a, is a wonderful product because even if, when it's farm raised, you still have a huge difference between one tin to another. Um, it's, it's, it's very interesting to see that a tin that has the same maturity, the same species, the same farm can be so different. It's, it's amazing. And so will one tin be like from one fish or how is that? Well, you can have more than one tin per fish. Um, usually what they do is they send me the caviar in family. Um, so I have, uh, within one crate, I have one sturgeon. So it can be two like this, uh, one like this, and then smaller tins. Okay. Um, and, uh, it's, from uh, one sturgeon? From one sturgeon. Um, so you, one sturgeon is able to produce more than? More than one tin. Wow. I mean, it depends on the species again, but um, uh, the, the, you can yield on the, on the farm raised sturgeon is between uh, 7 to 15% of the total weight of the fish. Wow. Um, so if the fish is big, it can be pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, yeah. So Definitely. even, so, so from fish to fish, you know, even within, uh, you know, big the difference. same harvest, if you will, there's a big difference. Yeah, um, uh, you know, there is always, uh, you know, within, uh, within one tank, there's always the stronger fish that uh, will eat more, that will be a little fatter, a little stronger. Um, and there is the, the, the thinner fish. Uh, and so, you know, you will have everything, all size, uh, in, uh, in within one tank of, of sturgeon. And so uh, this is the special Ocetra. Exactly. Right? This is a special Ocetra. So, and then uh, you would be tasting for different grades, right? So the classic, the... Correct. Um, the, 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 the grade, uh, it's, it's a different, um, uh, di different thing. So first thing that comes into play for the grade is uh, the, the flavor of the caviar. You know, is it, uh, is it stronger or is it, uh, is it more on the balance side? That dictates, you know, if it's a royal or an imperial. 
Um, then there is the texture. Um, is the caviar, you know, a little soft, a little soupy, or is the caviar, you know, firm and nice? Um, then there is the, uh, the, 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 te the texture we talked about, and then there's the color. Um, if the caviar is light or dark. So for a caviar to be special reserve, it needs to be firm, uh, light, uh, a perfect flavor, uh, no off, uh, no off uh, flavor at all, and it needs to be a little on the light side. Um, but you see, within the, those two, uh, what really makes the difference is the size of the eggs. The size of the eggs here is a little uh, 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 smaller than, the, than this one, and obviously, the bigger the eggs, the more enjoyable the, play, the, 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 the caviar. And then we're going to be tasting for different notes of the flavor. Yes. So you have customers that say, okay, I want you know, the special uh, Cetra Reserve, because but they then are... they say, I prefer kind of this flavor profile. Exactly. And... Um, so the, some, some of our customers would uh, look for the, the brininess uh, in, in the caviar, and some of them, they look for the, 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 butter, the butterness. Some of them looks for the nuttiness. Uh, some of them looks for uh, this uh, uh, umame type of uh, uh, flavor. It's, um, it's really um, uh, depends on your own personal taste. Um, if you like uh, the, the, the uh, caviar that's a, a little uh, softer and uh, very strong, it's, it's your personal flavor. You know, who am I to say yeah. this is not a good caviar? It's a great caviar. If you love it, it's a great caviar. And you have customers that, you know, are really, you know, having that intimate of a conversation oh, with yeah. your staff. Oh, yeah. I mean, caviar more than one, one really have a close connection to me would call me and say, uh, um, uh, send me whatever, uh, whatever you, you, you want, uh, uh, because we know each other very well. Uh, we've been selecting caviar for them for 10 years, and they trust us, uh, trust us to know, to nail it uh, each time. And if, you know, sometimes it's not as, as nutty as he likes, he'll call me and say, oh, you know, this one was a little more on the briny nice. Yeah. Uh, watch out for this next time you ship so something to me. And, and a lot of your chef clients are very specific about it. Very specific, very specific. Um, uh, the, 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 the chefs, they, since they incorporate the caviar into a dish, uh, they, really, uh, they really pay attention to uh, what the caviar brings to a dish. And they, they want something that's very consistent in flavor and uh, that, that brings the same type of emotion each time they bring into, in, into a dish. Uh, and it's, it's very difficult for us to, um, to make sure that the caviar is as um, uh, 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 consistent as possible because it's, um, it's really a product that has a lot of variation in flavor. Um, but that, you know, it's part of your beauty too. Um, you know, a, 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 a big chef uh, will, uh, will make sure, you know, uh, all his ingredients, you know, follows the, the recipe, the, 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 the flavor profile that he's looking for. Incredible. And the caviar cannot screw it up. The caviar has to be the, the focal point. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now I think the first, the, 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 the first part um, explaining the caviar we did. Now the most interest, in, interesting parts, um, digging in. So we start by the special reserve, etc. Because I want your test bud to be able to uh, really um, pick up on the smallest uh, little thin uh, uh, sub flavor that there is into a tin, and it's very, very interesting. So first you look, you want the eggs to be uh, round, but not you know, perfectly round. They have a little bit like a diamond, they, they have like little sides on the, on the eggs. Um, you smell, and then... Wow, very nutty. Buttery, very interesting. Yeah, nice kind of buttery. Kind no of salt, yeah. no, um, and that really shows, you know, what the maturation does to a caviar. When the caviar is young, the first sensation you have in your mouth is the saltiness that surrounds the eggs. When the, the caviar is mature, the, the, the salt had time to be absorbed by the eggs and kind of mixed in. So once you, you, you burst the eggs, you have this, this beautiful mix of the caviar or the salt, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, and so how long has this been aged, so approximately? Approximately, I mean, the, 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 for this type of caviar, you need a, a longer maturation because you want this nuttiness to really come through. Um, and this one, I would say, is between six to eight months, right? Six to eight months. Um, and this one is about the same age because we want to compare apple to apple. Okay. Um, 
And so if you dig in, the color is very similar. I always dig in the tin a little bit because I want uh, to have uh, the, the, the real shape of the eggs. If I take only the what's on top, it's been you know, pressed on by the, 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 the lid a little bit. So you look, smell. So what are you smelling? This one's, I, hint, I smell like something different on the nose. This one is buttery. Like, it's um, absolutely amazing. The, the flavor is so balanced. It's not strong, it's, it's really, it's not strong, but still persistent. You know, it's a flavor that lasts in your mouth. It's very interesting to have the, this, this bitterness that's kind of stick around. And this one has more of a nutty, briny side. Mm -hmm. This one is more of a buttery side. Um, Softer finish on that. Exactly. But it, it lingers um, too. Exactly, it lingers a lot longer. And um, uh, my client author, that's really what he's looking for. Um, this type of long, uh, balanced uh, bitterness. So a little bit darker in color. A little bit darker in color, the eggs are a little smaller. There's a beautiful little thing. You see the little, little uh, we call it the eye that's, uh, that's on the, 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 the caviar. Um, it's very interesting to me. It almost looks like a, a little eye poking out. It's beautiful. So we have beautiful um, light yellow greenish color, which is absolutely beautiful. Here you have a beautiful braininess that sticks around a little, a little bit on the stronger side, um, which is absolutely perfect because some people prefer this longer braininess. Um, very interesting color, absolutely delicious. delicious. So, with, whenever you're, you know, tasting and grading, at any point would you decide that you know maybe this needs to go back for a little bit more maturation? It's possible. Um, this one. I mean, it, not this one no, specifically. No, exactly. In yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, Sometimes the caviar needs more time, and uh, we allow. Taste allowed, it and yeah. send it back. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we make sure, uh, uh, for the purpose of the camera, I dig in a little bit like this. But if we try for uh, for the grading, we'll go on the side, kind of take the caviar on the side like this, so we can close it back without uh, this, uh, this, uh, without digging in the middle like this. But for the purpose of the camera. It's so much more beautiful to have this little, yeah. uh, little uh, dollop. exactly dollop of, of caviar. Um, so here we're gonna go for the uh, another Ocetra. Here we have a very light color. The eggs are a little smaller. The smell is beautiful. What do you smell? What? what? I smell uh, 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 bitterness and nut uh, nuttiness, and a tiny bit uh, uh, of brininess from the sea. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. Wow. You see, there is totally different. Totally different, and there is a little bit two sides of it. There's the first, you put it in your mouth and you have this beautiful bitterness that sets in. And once you burst, you have this brininess that, you know, kind of overpower the, 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 the bitterness and it really adds something to it. Yeah, but this one was a little bit sharper, the first one. Yes, Whenever a little the eggs, you know, yep. burst, it was a, yep. it was a, a sharp. Sharper. Which is good. And these are both Acetra, Special Reserve yes. Acetra. Uh, Imperial Ocetra, Imperial Ocetra, and this is the Royal Ocetra. Royal Ocetra. The Royal Ocetra is one of my favorite caviar. It's gorgeous, the, the eggs are very large, and the flavor is unbelievable. So first we look. Wow. 
well. Yeah, that's much stronger. Much stronger, but on the good side. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it's not the, the strong uh, uh, bad, it's the strong great. Yeah. I mean, full of flavor, right? Very, very beautiful finish. Absolutely amazing um, eggs. Amazing. So slightly greener in color. Slightly greener. Slightly yeah. larger eggs. Yes. You can really see those eyes. The nose has a lot of brininess. A really long finish on this one. Beautiful. I mean, such a long finish. Gorgeous. Gorgeous kind of... Nice, and it just kind of like is soft. It just really kind of evolves into this. You no, know, a, good, a good caviar has a, you know, really a lot of side to it. There is the, 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 the texture that's very, that rolls on the palate, that's very sensual, very sexy. There's the flavor that can be you know, this bitterness or a little bit more of a, of a stronger brininess. It, it, it's, it's really amazing mouthfeel. Now we're gonna go for the Baika. Which one is this again? The Baika. Okay. Now is this uh, sturgeon? Yeah. Um, where where is this from? What is so um, the bike uh, can be from the different um, different sites. So um, there is uh, farms of uh, of uh, bike in France, in Germany, um, in China, in uh, uh, in uh, it used to be one in the U.S., uh, not anymore. Um, it's uh, I mean it's 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 one of the most farmed caviar. I love the baika because nice firm me, texture, mm, and to me it's really the, the perfect balance between the special reserve and the royal. Yeah, it's, it's not quite as strong as no, the finish. Exactly as the royal, and there's the beautiful bitterness that, that that starts on top, and it kind of switch into this brininess. It's absolutely amazing. The baika is actually one of the biggest uh, biggest sales because it's uh, reasonable in price. Um, it's very beautiful to look at and absolutely delicious. This is really delicious. It's interesting yeah. how different they and are. Very balanced. This one and more butter yeah. on that one. And absolutely no brininess, no, brine. no nuttiness. It's just straight on butter. Right, this one, you know, the Royal, et cetera, had you know, a lot of brine, especially yeah. on the finish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the um, this was the special reserve, Very incredibly balanced. balanced. Very balanced. You know, smooth from yep. the beginning all the way yep. through the finish. Yep, yep. And now the Dorinki is very interesting. Now, me. describe how Dorinki differs from the Ocetra. So the Dorinki is um, uh, very different in the way it looks quite similar. Um, but the flavor profile is completely different. Uh, the eggs is very different too. You have this beautiful round greenish color. Uh, they're very beautiful. The, f the, the, the texture is very, very firm. Um, and the flavor is usually very balanced on the nutty side. Very soft finish. I wish you guys were here to try this with us. This is um, and much, I mean, firm. I mean, it's almost an it's a the pop. Exactly. It's really the firmer of uh, most uh, caviar. It really bursts. It really has this pop. Very interesting. The smell is so nutty. It almost smells like hazelnut. Soft, subtle. Not nearly as firm as those eggs. And these are almost like a woody um, finish to it at the end. Very interesting. So now we are moving on to the um, palofish. Uh, so palofish is not a sturgeon. 
It's a very close cousin to the sturgeon, um, and it yields very tiny um, gray eggs. Um, that's beautiful to look at. The flavor has a, 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 a kind of a bitterness that's really particular to this product. Um, very pleasant and on the uh, more affordable side, uh, and it's wild. It's a very interesting product. You see the nose, it's completely different than caviar. You feel this bitterness that's gonna come in. Yeah, that's a really interesting, I mean, versus kind of the strong, briny, you know, finish that you get from some of the Ocetra. This has a, you know, a bitterness, but not in a, no, in an unenjoyable a, way. I mean, it's a really interesting. Very interesting. Um, and pellerfish is used in recipes, is used into a, um, a for cocktail, is used for event, is used for, but it's very enjoyable, very enjoyable. So, um, Kirby wanted to, uh, to, uh, to get some caviar for one of his party, and we selected this one. So we're gonna take it and give it to Luis, and Luis is gonna show you how to pack the tin. Thank you, Skirby, for uh, coming with me uh, on this uh, caviar journey and uh, kind of uh, helping me select uh, all this caviar. This is your uh, your caviar yeah, for your, you. for the party that we packed from uh, your favorite caviar. And uh, sorry, I hope it makes it uh, through uh, the airplane ride. I, it will, it will <laughs> definitely. Um, so Luis is going to finish packing it for you. We're going to put it in the uh, isotermic bag, uh, put some ice. So you can fly with it with no problem, okay. um, and the ice lasts for within the next 12 hours. You're completely fine. Okay. So you have time to travel, time to go home, uh, and we really have your uh, caviar nice and pristine when you arrive. Great, Alex. This is uh, you know this is where the magic happens. No, you. yeah. I mean, thank you for uh, you know helping me through it. It's uh, I know it's hard work, but is, someone yes. has someone to do has it. To you do know, it, yes. it's, it's uh, difficult whenever you know your 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 work is your passion. Exactly. You know, it, it, that's the beauty of I think our uh, work is, you know, you, you you can't be in this type of environment if you're not passionate by it. Um, you have to breathe, eat, and uh, and uh, caviar is really it for me. Yeah. So if um, if uh, any of uh, of your audience is interested of having uh, their uh, caviar customly handpicked for from us. Um, give us a call, um, go on the website, there is a, a phone number, uh, give us a call and we will uh, take care of you from top to bottom and really select the caviar that you enjoy, uh, that uh, uh, if you have a preference of uh, nuttiness or brightiness or anything like this, let us know and we'll select the caviar for you yeah. and prepare it and ship it to you directly. Alex, hey. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank Kevin's. you so much. Thank Always you for your pleasure. time. Thank you for helping yeah. me through it and uh, hopefully uh, see you soon. Yeah, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangarproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. 
And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel.